we're live right now, uh, if we are live right now, I would like you to say rhinoceros, the easiest animal to spell either. Let's see how many rhinoceroses. Uh, what is the plural of rhinoceros? Is it rhinoceroses? Rhinoceri. Rhinoceri, if you will. Mm -hmm. So Rhinoceroonies. <laughs> Rhinoceroonies. That's the way that this goes. Okay, okay, I think we have that. I do see some people chatting, but Open you guys that were in chatting. A new window. We're just waiting to see. Cool, we have that chat there. If you guys are Rainbow Letter Support Team members, you can actually use the emojis in the chat room now because we are on Simon Martina, the main channel. So yes. make sure you get a chance to take advantage of those emojis. But we have a whole bunch of new members before we ever started. Thank you to Monica Lucas, Alicia Molinar, Vishonin, Stephanie Ferry 06, okay. Alicia J, Cerulean Sarice, and like the Nomad Paz. Thank you all for becoming new channel members. For those of you that are new, we actually have our Rainbow Ladder Support special video coming out tomorrow just yep. for you all. So I hope you look forward to that. Oh, I can see you guys. You can see us. I see Jay uh, Avino, who says, first time I've been able to watch a live stream live. I see Erie Yoki. I see Helga Bagel. I just Bagel realized away. you should be seeing on this side so you can see the computer. Oh, I can't see You can't see anything. Sheesh. But I have it up on the screen here so that I can see the live streams come through here. Okay, so let's yeah. explain what's happening here today. This happy thanksgiving happy japanese thanksgiving to us so last year we had friends on the u.s army base mm -hmm. nick and Josie, and we were able to go over there and enjoy a good old american thanksgiving with For, turkey first time in yeah. i think 10 or 11 years memers you stay away from that cable you fat cow you well, he's already starting he's already starting to i hear you guys trying to do something technological yeah. But this year, they left. So we didn't have any kind of Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. We didn't have Canadian Thanksgiving or American Thanksgiving. And no. what I want to say is, that's okay. We've that's got, fine. We've gotten used to living in Asia and not being able to access things like turkey. Um, there's Memers insects. Memers found a fly. In the house and Memers is doing Memers, activity. earn your keep. This is your Thanksgiving I meal. I got Eat whatever the hell that is, homie. <laughs> now you can't see them. But the point is, is that... I saw so many Instagram photos from yes. strangers and from friends uh -huh. being like, oh, we're arguing over what kind of cranberry sauce is better, chunky or jelly. And I'm like, we can't, we don't have any choice. Want to see our Thanksgiving dinner? Let's show you what we have exactly. for Thanksgiving. We went. This is because I'm jealous, by the way. I really miss turkey dinner. We went to a Japanese supermarket. Yes. Uh, and we got a lot of the pre-made stuff. For our other video that we did about Japanese groceries, we showed you what groceries are like. So like basic uncooked stuff. Mm -hmm. But Japan makes a lot of great pre-made mm -hmm. meals for when you're too lazy to cook. Uh, and this we want to show you. This is an excellent pre-made meal. It's made from rice. So this is a bottle of sake that we got mm -hmm. as well because we figured for every time there's a new member, we should probably drink a shot. We will implement that rule as soon as we are done yes. with showing you all the meals that we have. We've got this uh, delicious and beauty. I don't know what. Looks like we got some kind of uh, eggplant and chicken, chicken and, and broccoli I'm not kind sure. of thing. I'm not sure we if you can see that. We got our mackerel rolls. This is yes. our favorite. This is the chopped fatty tuna and green onions. The sushi. These little these little rolls that little we get at nuggies. Japanese supermarkets are better than anything I've ever had in Toronto. Pass that over. I'll be honest. Well, we're in Japan. So we're in Japan. Sense. Uh, and one thing I'd like to mention, oh, Simon, if you can open that up for me. Okay, sure. Um, My name is Ducky. Sorry, duck cheese. All right. Chinchilla. Duck, Thanks. duck, chinchilla. The reason why we're actually doing this live stream is because Simon really hurt himself. Um, so bad. <laughs> you see that? I'm not sure if you could see my crotch while I was doing that. Yeah, so. it was just a crotch shot. Um, a couple days ago, Simon fell off of our only stair. We have one stair uh, because he has a really bad ankle from form basketball injuries. Yeah. And it is so bad that the doctors were like, we can see your old breaks and you need to go get an MRI done. So the ultrasound, they're like, we can't see anything because there's so much swelling here. Yeah. So I have to go for an MRI on Monday. It's like a huge, like his ankle looked. We tried to film a video yesterday that we want to film. We want yeah. to take you on a nice adventure and show you some things, but I just can't. I yeah. can't walk right now. That's okay. So this is our Thanksgiving dinner. We got some Japanese supermarket food. We got a busted ankle <laughs> and we have a whole lot of sake for the people that want to enjoy a belated Thanksgiving. And for everybody that's not American or Canadian, then we're just going to party with some food. Yeah, so we're going to show you guys some cool stuff. Uh, now we can say some hellos to everybody mm -hmm. here. I just wanted to get yes. a chance. We got a new member. Yes. Kara Rose. Kara Rose, but you've been watching us for a while. Like yes. I've seen your username many times. Well, thank you for joining. Thank you so for we're joining. Do some cheers. I uh, hope you like so the video that we publish for you all tomorrow. Mm-hmm. There's I'm, some sake for me. Oh, thank you. There's some sake for you. We to got all... failed offerings who says happy Thanksgiving from Alabama. Yes. I would trade my turkey for your sushi, so don't be too sad. 
Uh, turkey's really yummy. But have you had a leftover <laughs> turkey sandwich with what? stuffing and gravy and mashed potatoes? And to all the sauce? new members, thank you for joining. Cheers. <sighs> what kind mm. of sake is this? It's um, it's a fifty nine percenter. Yes. So. You could taste a lot of the impurities in a good way. Yep. So I'm totally okay with this one. It is a little sweet. It's supposed to be one off of sweet. So mm. when I ordered, when I got it, there's like the scale of like six different things you can choose from. This one was one off of dry, super dry. So it's dry, but it's not super dry. Now what's amazing mm -hmm. is that this bottle of sake came with an English newspaper. It's so strange. Yeah. I was looking through them all and they're all wrapped with right. different pieces of paper. So like this one right here, I think... Yeah, this is a scene from Whiplash. I know, I don't know what's happening. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we have some Whiplash here. We have like different movie theater types. So I mean, we have a new member. Yes. Uh, Dominic. Uh, Ernst Throffer. Batgirl1114. Sula Tema Guterres. Thank you for joining and becoming members. Oh, this is the Japan Times. I think it's the English Japan Times. Ah. It's like the NHK Japan well, Times. I'm pretty sure it is the English Japan Times. <laughs> Because it's in English. Got lots of English in there. Cheers, Cheers to the new members. The new members. Mm. And Hannah Cole as well. Mm. Okay. All right, what uh, should we start with first? We're going to ask you guys what we should start with first. Okay. We have some curry buns as well. Yes. Um, so this is just the pre-made stuff at a right. Japanese supermarket. So I'm curious as to like what's uh -huh. in your supermarkets in the pre-made yeah. section. We have the so curry buns. We have the sushi. This is not a curry bun. This is a sugar bun. That's dessert. Curry bun. We have these uh, beauty, delicious beauties. Roast beef. We recently really started Great. getting the roast beef. For the people that listen to our podcast, if you remember that story about me going up the stairs and embarrassing Martina Dancing to hell and back, then roast beef, it's, it's Japanese roast yep. beef. This is a typical like potato salad, macaroni salad, spaghetti yes. salad stuff, which spaghetti salad? I used to think was, I think it's normal, but I realized it's not that normal. So right. guys, and we've got the sushi. So, and we've got Nikujaga. And Nikujaga, which you actually microwave, so we don't have the container, and so you can see it. And underneath. So let so us know what, what you think what should we start with first? Here. Ariel says out. curry buns. Sports Cobra one two three says sushi. Sunshine or Stone says uh, start with the roast beef. Yes. On NSS NS. Oh my God. N. Wait wait. S N S D fan in the house, right? Stone. Yes. I haven't seen a Stone in a while. So we see curry buns, curry buns, curry. Everyone's going for curry buns curry here. Curry buns. I think we got to go for curry buns. All right. I think that's the way we got to do this. Yeah, guys. Do curry buns last is what Nanaflex says. No, but like everyone's going buns. nuts for the curry buns. So let's Patty, do the curry buns first. Jasmine. Yep. And see what we have here. We also have dessert, our Thanksgiving uh, dessert afterwards. Curry bun it is. So I have scissors here. here. No, I'm just going to rip it open. No, don't rip it open, you, you crazy cut maniac. It? Be a hooligan. How dare you call me a hooligan? I'm a sweet, loving boy. Hula guy, if you look, will. Look, I'm not sure... Because this camera doesn't have autofocus on it. I've got us on this side. Oh, you can see how we look. Yes. All I'm right, there's a little bit of a delay. Looking at you. A little bit of a I delay. I think people can see how it. How close can we bring this up? Hold on. I'm just going to like manually focus. Uh, Let's get back you, to here. Thank so you, Solatama Gurutaro, who has just see. joined. Batgirl14, who's a new oh, yeah. uh, member as well. Look at the curry bunniness yes. inside there. Yep. Now back to us. Are we totally out of focus? <laughs> Chili Chompa's like, you should start with singing a long amount of Shakira. You know what's funny about that? What did we recently watch where Shakira came up? <gasps> we were watching something. Unrelated to Shakira in every way. Yeah. And then they said, oh, here's an example. And then they cut to Shakira. It's a random And the two playlist. of us were like, what? Yeah. What was that? I don't know, but Shakira has been in my head forever. Okay. And I don't know what this is. Let's try out our curry bun. This is our appetizer for our Thanksgiving dinner. Yes. Yes. Thanksgiving. Curry Thanksgiving to bun. us. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Um, there might be some sugar on the outside of this bun. <laughs> mm. There's a lot of sugar. It kind of um. Whoa. Fell out of its bag. So the oiliness so of this curry bun <laughs> absorbed the sugar from the reason. The sugar actually goes well. It does. From the sugar bun with the curry. However, how will the reversal be? Because I can see curry bun. Who knows? <laughs> it might enhance the flavor. I love curry buns. I don't think a lot of people talk about curry buns when they come to Japan. No, that's exactly what I was going to yeah. say. I have never in my whole life associated mm -hmm. curry in Japan. Just never did it. Mm -hmm. Never, ever, ever. Co yeah. Okay, Coco Curry, right. we love from visiting. But I didn't even know about Coco Curry until we came if here. If Coco Curry made curry buns, I would eat those every day. Yeah. These curry buns are delicious. J Japanese curry has a very different flavor than Apples Indian and curry. and carrots. It's very sweet. It's not like 
herby. It's not like with a lot of seeds mm. and like cloves in it. This just has its own wonderful mm. flavor to it. Every mm. single night and every single day, I want to eat this curry mm. in every single way. Name that song. And that stolen sugar <laughs> from somebody's bad packaging really enhances the flavor. So well done. That was me. With that sugar, girl. Uh, I did it on, how do you mm -hmm. say, I did it on purpose. I knew that the sugar of the bun and the tartness of the curry would come together to form, mm -mm. how do we say, c'est magnifique? You know what I was thinking about? Mm -hmm. Sensitive people um, who might be upset about your French accent because like, oh, you can't be making fun of French people, but oh we're Canadian God. and <laughs> French is our second language officially. So we have a right to make fun of our own language. I can make fun of my Polish accent. Mm -hmm. You haven't made fun of a Croatian accent before. Because the Croatian accent has a very difficult thing to imitate. Mm -hmm. But I can make fun of my Canadian side. Yes. Oh gosh, don't you know? Come oh, on down geez. there, all oh, that Canadian kind of. Oh it's gosh, like you it's know, just Minnesota, like though. it's right down there, the it street, is. don't you know? You know? Oh geez, you know, like there's one day that I really want to move back to Canada and I really want to invest in this accent. Sometimes it turns into the Quebecois accent and now I don't know. I just keep on going back and forth. No, and because you always end up with a Nigerian accent because you had so many Nigerian friends. Ah! Up, so all your accents end up Nigerian. But I can't say that because I don't want to offend anybody. I don't know why accents are offensive. It's I just don't know. the way people sound. My I'm dad not, has an accent. My Did my I tell everybody about my, app, my Siri problem? I'm not sure if you did, but I wanted to... Okay, yes. I just want to say hello to some people here. Okay, let's say hello to some people. Okay, um, Drickice says, pass the sushi, please. Okay. Uh, Tara Lynn says, I make fun of my uh, ASL accent, northeast versus south. Right. It is so weird. Yes. Yes. Um, I want to say thank you to Nikki Jasmine Ho -ho. Sorry. Uh, for super chatting who says we love you guys I've been watching you since you started eat your kimchi mm -hmm. very long time ago uh, Riri T says what did I walk into so for those of you that might be accidentally like watching this live stream yes. and you don't know what's going on I'm Martina I'm Simon it sounds weird to go backwards let's do that again I'm Simon I'm Martina we both live in <laughs> Tokyo and we're trying to celebrate a little bit of Thanksgiving here by going to a Japanese supermarket and grabbing a whole bunch of pre-made meals Mm -hmm. Which so far the first one was very very Fantastic. delicious yep. and this is our video for the week We want to record something, but I've injured myself yep. to a degree that we don't even understand yet So I can't really leave the house at the moment mm -hmm. So let's sit here and I just you know what I when I first got my injury I went to my physiotherapist and I I need you to tell Martina <laughs> It's okay for me to deadlift tomorrow. And he ran into the room and he's like, under no circumstances can your <laughs> husband do any deadlifts today, tomorrow, or the day after. No deadlifting at all. But no deadlift, no life. Mm -hmm. So that's my upsetment. Um, that's my... That is my upsetment. Upsetment. Uh, Going North says, I can say as a second language French learner that Martina's accent needs a lot of improvement. Do you think so? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll try harder. Nimrod, why don't you harder. tell everyone about your accent? Um, What's your well, accent? My, I studied numerology. Uh -huh. You're just a little tiny ball. He's a little fluff. pokey ball. He just keeps on curling uh -huh. into this sweet little ball. How did you get so small? He's such a good cat, guys. Such a good patient mm -hmm. boy. All right, and we well. also have a really sweet cat who oh, <laughs> who just Welcome loves to grooming the me. Session. So this is high quality content that we make here on the San Martino channel. Smash that like and subscribe <laughs> button if you want to learn more about Japanese food. Noemi okay, Yarito go, says, love you both and thanks for your positivity. Uh -huh. uh, Cassie Pfeiffer says, you both are such an inspiration. You push me to climb my own rainbow ladder and find the happy moments that every day supplies. I wanna... That's a really nice way. Sorry, that's just a really beautiful mm -hmm. way to say it, to find the happy moments yeah. that every day supplies. Because there are these little tiny things in life that help you kind of push up that ladder. But it's really hard to pay attention to them. At the same time, thank you, Essie Ruth Makes for super chatting and says, this is such a helpful video. We're coming to Japan in a few weeks, staying in mm -hmm. Airbnbs and planning to eat from supermarkets go, and convenience stores, a lot to save money. So here you go. We're gonna show you some great meals that you could get at a Japanese supermarket. You know what, we got you covered. We got you covered here. I'm gonna so, put together our wasabi and sushi. The question is, what's the next? Oh, you didn't even bring up the veg. We had some pre-made veg because we have like vegans and vegetarians watching. So we got to show them some stuff also. We got some pre-made spinach. You want to see some pre-made spinach? Good one, So, Simon. what should we eat next? We just had the curry buns. We have some Japanese roast beef. We have some Mac tuna rolls. rolls. We have the salad trio. Mm. We have this, who knows what this is. But it's called Delicious and Beauty. And we have some pre-made vegetables. Oh, Simon. If you like vegetables, All right, let's get a, please keep let's your find comments out here. to yourself. 
<laughs> Let us know what we should eat next. Um, El Tucker have... says, loving the crotch cover Simon's rocking. Yes. Thank you. This is a... Oh, this is a very special one, by this the way. This crotch cover's from Kobe, which it's from our up... It's from... From our... It's going to be yeah. from our upcoming video on Kobe we did. We, we did a very big video on Kobe and one of the restaurants gave us this. So let's look at the... Okay, here we go. Okay. Um, Caddy Chase says beef. Caitlin Fox says tuna rolls. Tuna, tuna. Daniel Glover says roast, roast beef. Roast beef. Hannah Cole says tuna, roast beef. Tuna, sushi, beef. sushi, tuna. Sushi, roast beef, tuna. Roast beef, tuna. Roast beef, so tuna. She... I think tuna is the winner here. I don't know. This is a real... A let's real... just go for the tuna first because it seems like maybe the roast beef is the main course. What happened to these chopsticks here? I use those to stir the miko Oh, okay, because I was wondering why there's so much crap on here if we just like don't that wash our chopsticks. Meat, uh, meat potatoes. Um, at the same time, we have a couple new members. Abby L oh. and Carrie Ann Rasmussen. Thank you for joining our channel memberships. I hope you like the new video that we're posting just for you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm. A very special secret video. Cheers to you. Cheers. Thank you for joining. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, we're gonna crack open okay. the sushi. So this or right here rolls, is one, say. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces for two hundred ninety-eight yen, which is roughly three dollars or yeah. so. Two, four, six for eight and of them. And if you could see how nice these look, hold this up to the camera You're and I'll already zoom in. Touching it. Oh well, there you go. I'm gonna do. I was gonna zoom in right. Okay, guys, went to focus. Okay, we got this. No, yeah, you see that? Oh, Doesn't yeah. that look nice? Here's so this some nice looking mackerels back it up back it up back right, it up right, right about there there you there. are oh yeah that look real nice oh yeah i think we're out of focus here now we're out of focus now we're we out of, got this are we are we leaning forward who knows if we're in focus or not yeah i hope we're in focus so what's really cool is like for the people who are mentioning that they're coming to visit japan um yes. the first few times that we visited japan we also stayed at an airbnb mm -hmm. and we love being close to supermarkets yes because you're able to like walk around it's such a pleasant experience i know every supermarket has its own music and the mm. one that we go to now likes to play um like french music mm -hmm. so it'll be like i like going so like we have that that supermarket is great but there's another supermarket that's a lot smaller that i like going to just because they have the unagi 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 which just says eel 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 okay eel Let's try out this beautiful chopped tuna mackerel for mm. our happy Thanksgiving dinner. Mmm, tastes like turkey. Mmm, mmm. Mm. The cranberry sauce really matches well. This is just. These are tremendous rolls. Mm -hmm. I don't think any fan of sushi will go to a supermarket, have some of this, and be like, ah, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. This is really well vinegared rice. Mm -hmm. The soy sauce has a nice saltiness. It bites through the fattiness of the tuna. This is really well balanced this is and actually, just delicious. This is actually something I didn't have a lot of when I lived in Canada. Mm -hmm. um, when we were in Toronto, I had tuna rolls. So it would be like a chunk, like thinly sliced tuna, maybe like like mm -hmm. finger size. Mm -hmm. And they'd put it inside the roll and roll it. Mm -hmm. But in Japan, they take a lot of the tuna and then the fattier parts and mm -hmm. they dice it. Yeah. So we did a video on Sushi Saito, if you guys mm -hmm. have seen that video. Mm -hmm. And we asked him what he does with all the leftover tuna that like isn't high enough grade yeah as he's using like amazing grade tuna the best tuna in the he world he says that he chops it up and they make uh negi toro like green onion and they have and the little <laughs> soups that they make afterwards with this i gotta say these are tremendous i know if you're getting an airbnb in japan try to find one if you can that's close to a supermarket you are gonna have such great food yep. at a fraction of the cost you won't regret it I love these. You sound like a hilarious marketing agency. Come to Japan! Dang it, or you can get a little a, a, a fraction of the price. Whoa, whoa! Mm. Let's answer some comments from people. Oh, wow. Guys. Mm. Oh, we have some new members. We have, mm. uh, oh, wait, I can do it. Karani Rasmussen. Oh, yeah, we have that we one. we have Abby L. We have Jupy Baby. We have Ashley W. And MK Queasy Thought underscore... Thank you for joining our channel memberships. Thank you for watching our live Nikki stream. Nikki Fowler just joined. And, oh yeah. And Nikki Fowler as well. Yes. Well, I think it's time for us to have a little bit of a yes. toast to you with this Japanese yes. sake that we picked up. Isn't this a fun Thanksgiving? You know what I like about this? We can have this Thanksgiving dinner to, together without any racist relatives. <laughs> Memers is like, Cheers I don't like dogs. Hmm. Speaking of racist relatives, dogs. we figured out that there's a kind of racism that happens towards people who prefer winter over summer. Guys, I'm saying it, okay? All right. 
Today, Simon and I want our bicycles. Mm -hmm. We're heading to the grocery store. Mm -hmm. The air was chilly. Mm -hmm. It's been almost like a seasonal change that came a little bit later. Now it's autumn, even though it's November. And mm -hmm. I said, gosh, this crisp, cool weather is great. And Lovely. Said, but you know what? I'm afraid to talk about that because everyone likes summer. Yeah. Everyone likes summer. And if you talk about like preferring winter over summer, they, they look at you as if you don't support gay marriage or something like that. It's like, it's like what do you horrible. mean? It's just like... I'm, I'm open to like many different experiences, but I prefer, I, just prefer winter. I like winter. It's like when it comes to the summer, there comes a point in which mm -hmm. you can't take off enough clothing and in order to cool down, you'll still be hot. But winter time is pleasant so long as you just dress up enough, put on enough socks, put on enough long johns, and then you'll be nice and bundled and comfy with fresh crisp Hang air. Hang on a second. I have some more ranting to say. Tell about me more, girl. Okay. In the summertime, you can die from heat. You can be like, I am literally too hot in my own house right. and I die. Yeah. But you rarely hear people freezing to death nowadays. Yeah. That's a very, something that does That's not happen as much. That's an olden Because you can get cheap stuff to pile up and yeah. stay warm, but you can die even if you like live in a nice apartment. If you have no mm -hmm. air conditioning yeah. and something breaks, you can die. And horrible insects live in hot conditions and they yeah. get really big. Yeah. While well, in Canada, we're like, listen, Mr. Spider, you're not getting bigger than this thumb. No. My friends in Australia tell me scary stories about checking their shoes before they right. put their feet in. Because I've never spiders. had to check my shoes for anything before I put my feet in them. That's no. it. So not guys, once in my life. We are beginning the Japanese Thanksgiving debate. Which one is better? Is it winter or is it summer? Let's go. Let me hear what you think. Let's go comment Winter section. or summer. And tell me why. Here we go. Okay. Um, we have fall, fall, fall. Well, everyone loves hang fall. On. Fall and spring are beautiful. Verdana but... says, I prefer yes. winter over summer, though exactly. I like spring most, uh -huh. but early spring, not that before summer type spring. Right. All right. Stylish Bunny says, winter's awesome when you're skating, skiing, or inside a cafe watching snow call come down. There are lots of winter lovers in the comments right here. Mm -hmm. Tons of people loving winter. Chloe Very says, smart preach, people. yes. I'm like, thank you. AJ Cute said, sweating is the worst. Can I just say, I have never left the house when it was like 40 degrees outside. I'm sorry, I don't know the Fahrenheit for that, but like Celsius. Right. And said, gosh, what a great day this yeah. is. Yeah. As soon as I start sweating, it ruins my clothing. I'm stinky. My makeup slides off you my face. You don't feel good when you step outside on a hot day, but no. you can feel nice when you step outside on a cold day. <gasps> Doug Moffat says summer. Summer. I'm shocked, Doug. Hey, where, Doug. Are, where are moderators? We need the bad hammer. <laughs> Ashley W and Sid the short one both said that they don't like the cold mm -hmm. because their bones can't handle it and they get seasonal depression and I agree with ah, that. Seasonal affective disorder yes. I, I do agree with. But yes. Japan is not very dark during the summer during the winter. Right. It's actually quite blue skied and so I feel like it's cold and the sun is out and the UV I is so I think it far. looks nicer outside mm -hmm. in the winter in Japan because mm -hmm. like summertime also has like really deep like rainy season mm -hmm. so I really think <gasps> Japanese winters are great. Bloop says I only like the winter during Christmas and after that, it sucks. <gasps> Bloop, come closer. Come closer. I blooped your nose. That's what just happened. All right. So I think we have a Shocking. whole bunch of new members that we have to cheers to as okay. well. Uh, tell me the members. So we have Jess Allen. Yes. We have Megan Amott. Yes. We have uh, Aileen E. Yes. We have Tove Sophie yes. E. Christensen. We have Bombo Mo and Cameron Hawkins. I think we might Thank have you. to do an entire glass for that. That's a lot of people a, that just joined. Thank you so that's much a whole glass for of joining our channel memberships. There you go. I'm here stuck with a busted ankle. Ah, sake. sake should not be one shotted. That's my Korean side coming through with me. I know we're like <sighs> shooting it back. Okay, so what's next on our list of meals to eat? Okay, guys, we got the trio of salads. Yes. We've got the rare roast, roast beef. beef. We've got delicious and beef. We got the mystery meal, and we forgot to mention the nikujaga, which is pork with potatoes and carrots and a nice... Wait. What? That crumb. Spit out that crumb, Missy. What Give happened? me that crumb back. That insect's back again. Open your mouth. Open it. Oh, by that, you're an animal. Martina might have to drink another shot for that. I didn't finish my curry bun. You didn't finish your curry bun, that's true. All right, let's figure out what we should. So we have mystery meal, mystery meal. We have, oh, we forgot to mention the vegetables. We also we have- We also have vegetables. We also have vegetables. So we have mystery meal, mystery meal, salad, roast beef, salad, nikujaga, potatoes, beef, salad, roast beef, mystery meal, mystery meal, salad, Roast beef. I think more people are saying mystery meal. Okay, so mystery meal it is. This right here is three pieces for 358 yen, which is like roughly, I'd say, $3.50. And this looks like we have some 
eggplant. Let me try to Let get me just this say, in focus. Sometimes this is like a hilarious reversal situation. If you've ever visited Asia, so if you've been to oh, yeah. Vietnam or China or Thailand that or good, doesn't it? Japan or Korea Look or Taiwan yeah. or Singapore, anywhere, and then you go back to your home country and then you go to a restaurant of that place, like a uh -huh. Korean restaurant, you'll immediately know, like, this is not ever served in Korea, but right. people are kind of putting it together and don't really know. Yeah. That happens the reverse in Asian countries, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. so sometimes you're like, what just happened here, Japan? What Why is did this? you put all these things together? And they'll be called like a Western food. So what does I this think actually that, say that it is? I think that it goes both ways. You know, you can make weird fusion Asian food that people from Asia will be oh. like, this is weird, but it might taste great. Oh, so there's tomato, mm -hmm. potato, cheese. Three pieces. Kanji, three. Oh, yaki. Yaki, oh. Fried, fried, fried. Yaki. Tomato, potato, cheese, fry, three yaki, pieces. Three pieces. All right, okay, here guys, we go. It's all unfortunately in. I don't know, I can't, you can't, you can't focus. You definitely can't see that. Okay. okay. Ooh, Akashi, thank you for super chatting. Who chimes in with the winning vote Go and says, it. winter, because summer is too hot and expensive aircon bills. I exactly. agree. We don't actually run our heater during the winter, so our electricity bills go down so much. Mm -hmm. We sleep with the windows open mm -hmm. because it's fresh and wonderful. Mm -hmm. Akashi, smart answer. Kobe Scott said, I'm a winter baby, so winter is my favorite season. Also, you can layer clothes so it makes for an awesome, fashionable look. Okay. I agree. Here's yours. No, you eat yours. I'm gonna what are answer, you going to eat? Well, what I'm going to do is answer a couple of questions because we so have a couple people. You don't want to eat this with me. Are you trying to be sneaky because you've been having extra curry buns and spoiling your appetite? No. No, I'm just trying to say... Say what? Hi to some people. Okay, answer some people then. You we'll eat be some good. foodsies. Okay, I'm going to have some Bullock of this. says, hello, my beautiful girlfriend introduced me to you guys and now we both love you. Would you do me a favor and say hello and I love you to Danielle oh, for me? Oh my God. Danielle, Anthony loves you and Simon loves this meal right now. You know what this bread is? What is it? Is it biscuits? It's mashed potatoes. Whoa! We have a new contender! This is, this is a like disc <laughs> of mashed potatoes. This is like when you play Super Smash with and you're tomato, like, a, person a new challenger arrives. What? This is the best thing we've had so far. And you're not allowed any of it because you are being bad and stubborn. Junk and bull. Ready? Ready? Junk, Junk and bull. You lose. Okay, best two out of three. Ready? Junkin' boy! Okay. Junkin' boy! Uh, I like scissors. I know, I noticed. <laughs> scissors are the best. So we were so wrong. My there was gosh. no bread. This looked gross. I was wondering where the potato was. This whole disc right here. Ah! It's okay. It landed on top of the packaging. Girl. It's fine. You ruined. Christmas. You ruined Thanksgiving! <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It landed. It landed. On the lid. It's my Thanksgiving meal. It's fine. It's it's your key. Everything's fine. All right. I'm gonna go get some napkins. Napkins. Hey. Recovery. You know one of the things that it's still difficult for oh, us to get. Napkins. We don't have any napkins. No. We've been in Japan for almost three years now, and there's something that we learned in Korea that we just can't knock. And it's a deep suspicion of new foods yeah. because there are many times we went to Korea and we tried some new restaurants that were like fusion this or that and they were terrible. Just, just terrible. Like yeah. we'd have like dill pickles inside of our burritos which just tasted gross. It's just a bad fusion food. Mm -hmm. And in Japan, whenever we see something new, we're like, we're like I'm not gonna like it, probably gonna be I'm gross. Over that again. And then we looked at this like, this looks weird, it's probably gonna be terrible. This is the best thing so far. Listen. The problem is that- Ah! Oh, you do <laughs> it to my wonderful, beautiful meal! It's perfect. I saved it. Everything's fine. Everything's recovered completely. Mm. Uh, Korea is really good at making Korean food. Mm -hmm. No matter where I go, mm -hmm. like go to LA or Seattle, I try Korean food there and I'm like, it's good. It's mm -hmm. still not Korea level good. I know mm -hmm. that sounds obvious, right? But Korean food in Korea is done so well. Mm -hmm. There's something about the ability to bounce between like mm -hmm. Kimbap Jungkook's like the little mm -hmm. mom and pop shops mm -hmm. and say, Oh, this person does it this way. They're mm -hmm. sushi, mm -hmm. and this person does it this way. It's like there's no recipe. It's like the wild, yeah. wild west. But when you try to have a Western food, when somebody hasn't actually traveled to that country, yeah, they haven't perfected the base dish, mm -hmm. and so you can't mash things together. It's like trying to make 
a recreate a recipe of something you only saw a picture of and never tasted. Yeah, exactly. And that's what I feel like a lot of Korean Western food yeah, is like. Yeah, like when we had the burritos with pickles in them and the pickles did not match. And so some things they get <clears> right, <throat> like especially a lot of people from LA and Seattle that are yeah. coming back to Korea yeah. to explore their roots. The 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 Korean Americans that are coming back to I'm Korea, making amazing they're doing stuff. tremendous things Magpie's in Seoul. Magpie's Pizza, oh my making gosh. the breweries in Japan, in Korea that are brewing like tremendous. local Jejudo beer and stuff. Mm -hmm. They're doing a great job. But yep. I wish more Korean people that were born in Korea like kind of explore it out to maybe Italy or Spain and learn the stuff mm. that they love and mm -hmm. then brought it back and then kind of worked with it. I yeah. think you would, so what happened with Japan was apparently a lot of people in Japan went out to Europe. Yeah. Germany and France are big impacts um, on Japan. Yeah. And so we see a lot of French and Italian. So and, for our date know? night, once a month, we go to this uh, French bistro that we won't tell you where it is because it's our secret and I don't want anyone to know. <laughs> and night bistro. We go there because the chef actually lived in France for a bit and studied under a Michelin star chef and he brought those techniques back to Japan and he makes better French food than what I had in France. It's amazing the stuff that they make. I love it and, and I'll not, never tell you. And it's what, not fancy food as well. It's not fancy, say. yeah. It's, it's bistro food, like normal. Bistro food, reasonably priced for a tremendously huge it's meal. It's $28 for mm. an appetizer, uh -huh. a main, yeah. and a dessert. And <laughs> you leave there, like they have to roll you out of the place because the portion sizes are so huge. Whoa. But we'll never tell you until we leave Japan. If we ever leave, we'll be like, okay guys, here's where we made doughy eyes at each other <laughs> every mm. month. For three years. Oh, that was an uncomfortable Delicious burp. Delicious potato burp. Delicious potato burp. While I'm enjoying my food, yes. I'd love you to answer some questions. I see people coming. Yes, I want to thank William Chen for super chatting. William, it's always so great to see you. William Chen, for those of you that don't know, it's been a long time viewer. Mm -hmm. We did a video back in Taiwan, maybe like four or five years ago, and we met William Chen there. Five? But William it was probably like five, five years, years ago. It's an old video. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's great to constantly see you there. Uh, and William's question is, are you guys excited for Drag Race All-Stars 4? Who is on your team? The answer is yes. And the second answer is, we don't know because I don't want to know the cast yet. I really enjoyed the reveal mm -hmm. uh, in the first episode. I already saw one person who's coming. Not a spoiler. Yeah. I didn't look up. Every time I see RuPaul. It's upsetting. I'm like, hmm. Yeah. I, I don't my, like any spoilers. I had my RuPaul shirt on today. You did. And then I took it off because I'm like, I'll wear something mm -hmm. nicer. And so I put on a tank top and then this weird spiky sweatshirt, which is missing half of its sweatshirt. It's just a half shirt. You look really nice. Just like stops right there. You look good, girl. Yeah. I like my wife. You know, one of the things I love about Martina, she's getting prettier every year. Like when we were married, wow. she was like, she was pretty. But now I'm looking at her like, God damn, girl, you are not, you're still reaching your peak. Okay, so nicely calm down. done. Excuse me. <clears throat> Here in the video, Martina can't take a compliment to save her life, by the way. But I just think you are a gorgeous woman mm. with a banging body. Thanks. I'm so lucky to have married you. And it's for life, so you can't leave. So here we go. What should we eat next? <laughs> so I had sake and So the here you go. I had sake and a lot of Indian flavor. You're just joining us now. Yes. Uh, Simon is drunk off of three glasses of tiny sake. We have some new members that we should also probably thank uh for joining with if, some sake if you're new to our live streams you should know that they always start off slightly normal uh -huh. as normal as we are so if this is normal it starts off here uh -huh. and then as we drink and chat with you guys it just gets, gets exponentially more. stranger and the more members join the more that we drink so thank guys, you to all the members I hope you like the emojis that i made and mm -hmm. if you would like more crazy emojis let me know what kind you want because mm -hmm. i've been designing them <clears throat> it's really hard to make emojis they're I know. so small so if you just think that you take something and make it small, but no, doesn't you work can't that way. see it. So yeah. I have to like, I feel like, um, Beauty and the Beast fans in the house, when you put on like glasses as as and he puts on those other glasses Beauty to like work on that little watch collection. That's how I feel like when I try to make emojis. Cheers to Dolce Teles, yes. Michaela yes. and Pokey K. Thank you for becoming new members. Uh, oh, and Shusa, I'm sorry you say, please help me understand why I can't become a member. I tried to look it up on Google and everything for so long. I'm uh, in the USA. Maybe it depends on the device you're using. You so, can only do it on a computer, but you can't do it on a phone or an iPad, I think. I think that there's some issues. Yeah. So if you're viewing us on a phone or an iPad, it might be an issue. Try yeah. maybe a desktop computer and it possibly will show up. But cheers to all Thank of our new members. Thank you guys very much for joining. We have a new uh, member video coming out soon. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. We missed a couple super chats. Yes. We haven't had the chance to answer them. Um, let's scroll up and answer a couple. So Sassy super Dumpling chats. says you missed a, a few super chats, including my own. Uh, we're scroll. 
Well, We're there's, scrolling there's to try to find. Okay, here we go. Okay, Sassy Dumpling says, My fellow Nassies, it has been too long. Wait, Sa Sassy Dumpling, by the way, lives in Australia. Yes. And I imagine it like this. My fellow nasties, 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 nasties. It has been too long, 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 long. long, long. long. Hope you're having a better and a pain-free day, Martina and Simon, Simon, Simon. How is your ankle, ankle, ankle? We're planning a trip to Japan next year, and I'd love to meet up if possible, possible. We possible. definitely need to do a meetup next year. Yes, we do. This is, I think, the first year that we've not done a meetup. I know. I know. The first it's weird. Like, our last meetup, it was tremendous, but I felt guilty because... People waited for so long, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I still haven't figured out a way to do a meetup in which people don't have to wait for four hours. Yeah. The problem is we're chatty Cathy's, and yeah. so every time... Poor Cathy. Mm -hmm. Everyone calls you chatty. I'm a chatty Martina. We should call it chatty Martinas. Mm -hmm. Every time we meet somebody, it's like a reunion with a cousin or a yeah, family member. exactly. So we're like, oh my gosh, and then we chat with you guys, and then we realize that we just take way too much time. And I see videos of other people doing meetups, other YouTubers, mm -hmm. and they literally sit behind a table and just like sign something or shake a hand and they moved along. Yeah. And I'm like, that's, that's a so weird. That's a terrible experience for your audience. Like, I am so touched that anybody watches us. Yeah. Like, you are tremendous people for finding this for some reason entertaining so bless <laughs> your pure bless your souls sweet, pure souls i want to speak with you for as long as i can yeah and so we don't really have good time management skills so we're trying to figure it out um, yeah but we, we might if we can maybe yeah. meet people when we go to spain because we're planning on going to spain in january barcelona in january if anybody's barcelona. gonna be there then we're gonna be in barcelona, barcelona. as well barcelona. so we're gonna see if we can kind of plan a meet up okay wait get some more questions okay here. uh so blake wimberly says hey simon when are you growing out your hair i miss that old mohawk of yours honey that <laughs> ship has sailed <laughs> me and my hair have had a conversation with each mm -hmm. other they we're had like a fallout <laughs> And I'm an older man, and things don't work the way they used to <laughs> anymore. And I'm totally okay with the bald look. This will be, this is it. This is what you're getting for the rest of your life. So enjoy the shine. Enjoy. Thank you for asking. I'm all, holy shit, the Nomad Taz. Thank you for your very generous oh my super goodness, chat. Thank you very much. Wow. Hi, s and from Ontario. I'm so glad I stayed up to catch my first live chat. Welcome to all the first live chat members. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I've been watching since Ichikinchi. You have brought such pure joy to my life by watching not only your videos, but your friendship and love for each other. Lots of love and support building my ladder with you. I have a really good friendship with you. You're my yeah. best friend. I want to hang out friend. with you all the time and we talk about ideas all the time. It's really hard we to like, be apart. We read articles and we're like, hey, what do you think about this? And we like discuss theses and we like watch okay. videos like, what do you think about this? I'm going to get a little bit mushy here. Okay. Um, Let's be mushy girl. How much did we have? Okay. So Not enough. We've had a half a sake bottle of mushy. Hold on. Let's it's have a little more gonna, because it's just gonna get Sabrina worse. and Kaisa have become new members. Okay. Mm. Mm. Here's me, what I was going to say. Mm-hmm. Being in a relationship can be difficult, okay? It doesn't matter if you're two men or two women or a woman and a man or you're married or you're not married or you're a couple or you're friends, whatever it is. Being in a relationship can be tough. And the reason why is because you are with that person all the time and you only experience them and you're really t making it hard for me to have Sorry, a serious keep talking, conversation girl. Keep with talking. all these little mm -hmm. mustache kisses. Mm -hmm. The point is it can be quite hard to be uh, dealing with the person's differences, right? Mm -hmm. Like Simon wants to put things away right away. I like to hang things on my chairs. Like, and you can make that a problem for you. You mm -hmm. can make it a problem. You can be like, you know, stubborn and say, well, I'm going to throw all my stuff on the ground because that's the way I've always done it. Mm -hmm. And screw Simon's way. And Simon can be like, well, I won't accept anything because I want things to be clean these ways. And you can butt heads. But what you need to realize is it's a relationship. And so you go, okay, he's not trying to hurt me or be mean. Mm -hmm. This is just the way Simon has been. He likes things neat and clean. And mm -hmm. I like to hang things on chairs. So what kind of middle ground can we reach? And mm -hmm. so that's when we decide things like, you know what, Ducky, I'll try my hardest to maybe middle ground it. Can we get yeah. some hooks? Because I'm not good at hanging things up. It hurts my shoulder. Mm -hmm. Simon goes, okay, let's do that. And slowly, bit by bit, Simon's patient with me. I'm patient with him. Mm -hmm. And then you get to this beautiful middle ground where you mm -hmm. just love interacting with each other. But the middle ground is always changing and growing because yeah, you find like year. you find new ways that you could be better for the other person new ways that maybe like you've been like not as strong of a partner as before like mm -hmm. hey maybe i could try doing this and like i'm super looking forward to yeah. where we're going to be 10 years from now 20 years from now it only really dawned on me within the past like few months or so that it's like you're not gonna leave me like there's I'm so always proud of you for finally getting to this there's there's always this fear that 
oh shit, like maybe Martina might like smarten up because she's such, like I got her at such a bargain. <laughs> like she's way out of my league. I'm like, holy yeah. shit, like she, we might actually be together forever. And we then you start, you start thinking about like, what are we gonna be like 20 years from now, 30 years from now, 40 years from now. And it's like today, like when I'm hobbling around with my ankle, and like I can barely move like I used to move last week. I think there's gonna be a time in which we're 80 yeah. and we're all gonna be pushing our little carts. Yeah. And we're gonna be like, oh, when do you wanna get some and of that potato we're gonna broccoli? Do? We're gonna go, we're gonna go, mm. look at that dog. Uh -huh. And then we're gonna squat down and pet it. But the, uh -huh. the point is to think of your relationship. Yeah. Any relationship mm -hmm. as something that you're going through together. Mm -hmm. It's not something where you're fighting and you're insisting that there's a line drawn and I'm gonna stick to my way and you're mm. gonna stick to your way. You gotta think of it as something you're going through together. So mm. you might as well try to make it pleasant. Mm. It doesn't mean get bowled over by yeah. one person's opinion or the other. Uh -huh. It simply means try to find yourself a middle ground if you can, right? That's all I'm saying. So the question now that we have to ask is what should we eat next for our Japanese Thanksgiving dinner? <laughs> like Simon's gonna cry in three, two, Thank you to one. all the new people that have joined our he channel. He is, he's got watery This eyes. isn't a channel just about marriage advice and about relationship <laughs> advice. We live in Japan, Tokyo, and we went to a supermarket for uh. our own little version of Thanksgiving. We've already eaten a few things here. What we have left is up for you to decide. And dessert after this, by the way, guys. We have some uh, pork, uh, potato, and carrot stew known yes. as nikujaga. Mm -hmm. We have this trio of salads, macaroni salad, spaghetti salad, and what the hell? I don't know, egg, potato, macaroni. Egg, potato salad. Okay, we got, hang on a second here. And already. Have biff. We already have people going through, ready? Liz okay. Cook, Stunt says salad. Creative Life says veggies. John veggies, says veggies. veggies. Naro Potato BTS says some, vegan. Then some guy you, says veggies. Are you, you going to go get the veggies? <laughs> it's me, Bree says beef. Beef. Um, okay, some people want us. I think I got to get the veggies. Got to get the Nova veggies. Nova right. Mason says, probably a dumb question, but is turkey available in Japan at all? Not a fan of it, but I'm curious. Not really. Well, it's available. Like when there was a Canadian Thanksgiving and we went to that Canadian wine shop and they had their own Thanksgiving dinner. It's available in the sense that you have to pay triple the price for yeah. it, but you can't go to a store and be like, oh, you can't put, wait a minute. Oh, sorry, duck cheese. Farge. Uh, farge. 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 Whoa. You want some ice? No, I want some vegetables. I'll go get some vegetables. I'd love some of that spinach. Oh, Thank you, everybody, yeah, for yeah. voting for the veggies. Thanks you just, you know it's how bad. to really make us feel thrilled. If you're wondering why I massage my foot, it's because I destroyed my ankle. And if you're wondering how, I was fighting three dragons at once that were threatening Martina's life. They had a wizard and a warmancer. Warmancer? Necromancer. I just rolled my ankle, stepping He's down. taking out the garbage. He's taking out the garbage. And he stepped off our step, and then I heard him scream, oh, and I heard ankle. everything fall, <clears throat> and and then I came outside, and there was garbage cans upside mm -hmm. down, and Simon upside down, and mm -hmm. I thought he broke something, and I was so scared. Yeah, it popped really bad, and it swelled up so much. I have a really chubby foot. You can barely even see the veins in my foot anymore. Well, here we go. That, so this is a whole lot of spinach. It's not actually some, spinach. What is it? Technically. What is it? Wait, goma. Oh, that's the goma. The seeds on top. So we got seeds. sesame seeds on top of these blanched it's, vegetables. Well, let me let me focus on this. It's kind of spinach, but not not quite spinach. Spinachish. Spinach. -ish. spinach, -ish. spinach. Shit! Oh my God, Simon! <laughs> well, ah uh. oh, shit! There's some spinach. Thanks for voting for spinach, everyone. Good choice you made. Hell. Okay. So, wow. wow, I just made a big spinach mess, and it's time for us to try some Thanksgiving spinach. Are you ready Look to try some, did. love? Look what you did, Ducky. Your hands you are so this. juicy now. All right, come here, love. You do it. Oh, you want some Gohan? No, I want to feed this to you lovingly on camera so we can show everyone how much we love each other. I don't want your loving spinach. We gotta show each other how we love each other. Eat yourself. Eat your spinach. Eat yourself. Marriage. I mean, it's actually really good. That was great. Super great. Oh, man. Mmm. Yeah. Lightly blanched spinach with a touch of sesame oil and sesame seeds on thyme. On thyme, I mean on top. This is really, really, really yummy. Like, if you're a vegan, come to Japan, go to the supermarket, and buy this spinach. This is... Stellar. Ooh, we got some hot rice. Okay, we got some crazy, uh, nasty, and Simon, loser Simon, uh, 
emojis. Hey, what's with all the loser Simon emojis here? What's great is I made those and Simon didn't know. And then he zoomed in one day. He's like, what's this blue square all about? And then he looked closely mm. and he went, loser Simon. Mm. Mm. Loser mm. Simon. Oh, boy. That spinach is actually really good. Yeah, it's super delicious. And we bought that. Because we are considered other vegans and vegetarians. Mm -hmm. So who's there for some roast beef? <laughs> I brought over the rice so that we can layer the roast beef and we can sauce it. Yes. I think that will be delicious. Well, we got, so we're uh, just going to. Hang on a second. Jenna what? Wong said, is it similar to the Korean banchan spinach? Yes. That's a really good example of it. Yeah, but it's, it's nuttier. Well, and less sesame oil. So yes, the less Korean, sesame oil. Um, the Korean banchan has a lot of sesame oil on it, mm -hmm. and you can usually have it like in a bibimbap. It's quite good. Mm -hmm. This one is similar. Less oil, more sesame seeds, if that makes sense. Because so, it's not oiled, but it still has a sesame seed taste to it, right? I see a lot of people using the loser Simon emoji. That's for people that have joined our channel memberships. They have our special emoji set. And we have a whole <laughs> bunch of new people that joined that we should definitely thank for joining. We have... Kasia1306. Yes. We have Irene Rusley. Yes, we Irene. Have, uh, Jennifer Ruska. Emily Santizo Pepin. And we also have Ricardo Ambriz. Thank you all for joining. Yeah, I hello. hope you enjoy the new emojis emoji packs and that we the have. Newsletters and the videos coming out. Here's some sake. Just tastes better and better the more you drink. Had to stop on an important question. What is the question? By Clover Bell 13 who said, When did Loser Simon start? Do you remember Simon? Loser Simon started um, maybe two Aprils ago. Uh -huh. um, we went back to Korea mm -hmm. to accept our 1 million subscriber button. Yes. And when we were there, we also filmed a video with a comedy gag group, a Korean yes. one, in which we played some uh, variety show. It's one of our favorite videos ever. It's super fun and ridiculous. It's funny because... Um, we never explained what was happening in the mm. video, so we realized that some of you guys have joined us when we're in Japan. So mm. you, you've only found our channel and you're like, oh, these guys live in Japan. Mm -hmm. But we lived in Korea for eight years, so some of you guys have been there from the Korean time period. So mm. us going back to Korea and filming this bizarre like game show where we had to um, chug noodles or play mm. Korean drinking games yeah. or like... It was a hand game. Yeah, this which one... Which everyone had to like put their hands... Yeah. I kept on losing. And then... Everyone just started singing. Going, Loser. And Simon. every time I lost, they just would get louder and louder yep. and louder until yep. it just haunts your dreams and then permeates the comment section all the way to the emojis. And then mm -hmm. I downloaded that and made it into a song. And so when we yeah. would do competitive like eating cookies yeah. or like cookie time or donut time, we would include the Loser Simon song. And since I came to Japan, I've been losing at just about every challenge. On we camera. Came here on camera. Only on camera. But that's okay because I'm the luckiest in that I got to marry my ducky. Oh, this somehow came back to the It came back to the I'm glad dog. I spent all my luck marrying you, girl. But how, how does that make sense? Because you answer. were very good before that and you only lost on camera in Japan for like eight years. All right, time for some roast beef. Okay, no, we have, we have three choices left. Let's uh, get people right. to choose. Beef and salad. Roast beef. We have salads. pasta salads and we have Nifu the pork jar. stew. What should we do next? Let us know what your answers are. Oh, you should try some of that spinach. It's actually surprisingly really good. I've had nothing bad here so far. I know it's good. I've enjoyed all of it. So Jasmine says the beef. Catby says the mm -hmm. stew. We have beef, pasta, beef, pork stew, beef, beef, beef. Time for some beef. Okay. So... What is this right here? I'm going to I'm gonna have mine on rice personally. Oh, you're going to have yours on rice? So, here's, oh. what, here's what happens. Okay. Maybe I can adjust the camera while we do this. So, yeah. Well, we're, can I try? Are you too drunk? Is this going to spill over? So, you're going to... Hang on. You hold whoa, it. Whoa, whoa, I'll focus it. Let no me waiting. Okay, go for it. You're going to put some of this onto the rice. Yes. And pour the sauce on it. Okay. So, can you do that while I change the camera focus? If I, I no, because I don't have three hands. So I'm gonna do the third hand here. Okay, you do the okay, third you hand. Ready? You ready for it? You are complicating this, girl. This is destined for failure. I know. Come All on right. over. Here we go. Mm hmm. Oh yeah. How close can you that. get? Nice roast beef. Well, this is our our new lens. We well, it's in get focus, so you don't need to look at the lens. You only need to look at the bowl. I have it in focus. Oh yeah. Okay. Real beef right Make there. Make sure you add some green Coming onions on top. Bag, Coming right? on Michael's head like that. Oh, sure. There's okay. some more beef. Okay, that's good. And green onions. onions. All right, and let's now... put some of that sauce on. Yeah. All right, and now you want me to rip up the sauce? Yep. Okay. Remember, everything's in focus, so 
Where's maybe, the... maybe open the sauce over the roast beef. No, I gotta open this in front of my friends. Oh my god. So many devices. Uh-huh. And... Boop, boop. Oh, whoa. Are you, making... whoa. <laughs> Are you getting nervous, girl? Yes. Happy Thanksgiving to our roast beef sauce. That sauce is very, very important. We recently ordered some roast beef bowl delivery, our first time having it. And then when we were eating it, we're like, wow, this is really kind of boring. And then we realized we forgot to put the sauce on. The sauce on these Japanese roast beefs totally changed everything. I don't even know what the sauce is called. Roast beef sauce. Roast beef sauce. sauce. Ah, so this so That's the ne. one Not I remember. Okay, you try that first because I tried to spinach first. Let me answer some comments here. William Chen again, thank you for super chatting. Can you please give a shout out to a new converted nasty, AKA my boyfriend, Jordan, thanks <gasps> to me. Welcome Jordan. Welcome Jordan. Also, we miss a lot of super chats. So first of all, welcome Jordan. Let me just tell you, William, great guy. Great guy. Tremendous man. Definitely let him borrow your sweater even if he spilled some mustard on it forever and ever he deserves a sweater because he's such a good guy for everyone who super chat we miss we try to answer as many as we can but for those that we can't answer we will read afterwards because we see them all uh in the chat afterwards how's that tasting girl is that really really yummy so terrible ah blue mm. mug says where's the egg fried scrambled boiled the egg is not in the roast beef the egg is in this right mm. here, it looks like it's hard boiled no. and then chopped up. No, they're right. Usually the roast beef bowls have an egg yolk. Yeah, this one is just the roast beef. Right. It's totally fine without it's the- It's so good. Yeah, let me try some. It's just so good. It's just- It's like- Everything here is so good. It's upsetting me, it's so good. I mean, this is my new kind of favorite Thanksgiving tradition. Like, <laughs> last, year, <laughs> last year was really good. Like, having actual Thanksgiving, you know, with like- Friends. friends. But, but this anyhow, is a great is Thanksgiving as well. <laughs> Kara Rose says, okay, second try. I'm finally working my first nursing job. Proud to say I'm an orthopedic nurse and a complex care chronic pain specialist. That's amazing. Oh my God, that's so amazing. Mm. Uh, Chameleon Halo mm. said, I'm hella drunk and just joined this live stream. Have a drink on me. Hey. Chameleon Halo. You make we, a very good point. You make a very good point. Let us. Here we go. Keep doing this. Chameleon Halo. Hey. Welcome cheers to, to you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Need some more roast beef sauce for mm -hmm. all this oh, roast beef. I should have mentioned. Um, yes. The sake was $12. About. Yeah, about $12. It's pretty reasonable yeah. price, right? You know, it's like a, a cheap bottle of wine or something here. I can't believe that I just spit that piece of rice so fast out of my mouth. Hopefully the camera resolution isn't good enough for you to see that. Well, you told everyone, so they know. But the point is, I can't believe how delicious this roast beef is. Everything here that we've had is amazing. Mm -hmm. There's not one bad thing to eat. You know, hopefully, we'll get there at some point, but I feel like we're edging towards our delicious pudding snacks, and mm -hmm. they're not going to be bad. Mm -hmm. Baglios1 says, Martina has always been an inspiration recently. As someone with chronic pain, I'm odd to have found someone so inspiring in so many ways. Thank you for sharing your love and your life. I got to tell you, this has been a bad pain week for me, mm -hmm. guys. Um, I'm wearing my my rib brace mm -hmm. down here as well the weird thing about pain is i told simon today i realized that i have extra painkillers that i can take when i'm having really bad days and i never ever take them i mean yeah. it's my coconut pill that has to go up my butt i was telling you guys about mm -hmm. it a while ago but um i never ever take it because i'm always like i can push through this i can get over it mm -hmm. but what i forget is how pain really makes you cranky and low mm -hmm. i keep thinking that it doesn't even though there's millions of studies that talk about pain pain and depression mm -hmm. and sadness mm -hmm. so today was a real rough day for me and in the morning i said screw it i'm taking all my pain medication and then suddenly i was like what was i so upset about this week yeah. you know i'm yeah. feeling great yeah. and i realized it's because i am in so much pain all the time mm -hmm. that it does adjust it but yep. having this day which is pain free for now will help me have a perspective on life for the rest of the week to go, oh, okay, right, it mm -hmm. was my pain talking. Exactly. And then I'll kind of go back into a slump again and have a rough time, fall off my ladder, and then I'll have to rebuild it again. And if I do take something like mm -hmm. some pain things to block things out, yeah. then I go, oh, okay, right, it is the pain again. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to be constantly 
on some kind of painkiller yeah. because then I, I won't have the balance. The, the contrast back and forth yeah. kind of like helps you appreciate things a little more at yeah. the same time. That's why everyone's life is like this. Mm -hmm. You know, like if we had lives that just went perfectly up and up, we mm -hmm. wouldn't be able to appreciate it. We need yep. those dips, the sorrows in relationships, mm -hmm. the sadness and not doing well in yeah. a job or school and then mm -hmm. doing well. We need yeah. that kind of contrast, Well, the right? point is like, I think everybody has their own complaints and their own issues in life. Mm -hmm. Nobody has an easy life at all. Even if you're really poor or you're super rich, the super rich have their own problems that they complain about, which I'd be like, I'd be more than willing to take on those problems mm -hmm. myself. But they don't but, know the difference. But they don't know themselves. Doesn't matter what your position in, there's always something that can get in your way. So you have to keep on trying your best mm -hmm. to overcome the best of your ability. Yeah. I'm gonna overcome it by eating the rest of your beef bowl. Please do, love. Can I feed it to you in a love shot? I no. think everybody wants to see no one, me feeding you lovingly. Who wants Rice I mean, is gonna crumble out under my, under I my am mouth. I'm so skilled at chopsticks. Can I just, you save that for when you have delicious pudding? Girl, I'm gonna feed you this roast beef no, with a little bit of rice awful. around it. Nobody look wants at this. that. Everybody no wants, one wants this. It. Answer in the comments. No. See, look. Yes, no, we have. Yeah, really don't. Yes. No, Marcel, Marcel says Lynch, yes. That boy, Kitty no. says Kitty. yes. No, Kitty. Cornelius says love is a moment. Do you really want to upset our audience? Do you know how much they want to see this? You guys are betrayers. Do you know how happy they would oh, be? Oh great, we even got a love is the moment coming love in. Love is the moment. Love is the moment. Except the girl. Here's my beef in your mouth. <laughs> Come on girl, open wide. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, let the love beef. Love so that good. beef. So juicy. Mmm. 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 Oh. That roast beef was tremendous. I know. We were so scared before to eat it because we thought that it was too rare mm -hmm. and that we'd get sick. Mm -hmm. Nope. Mm -mm. Point is, I think I'm getting a bit too full. I don't think we could have these two, but we do have room for dessert. Um, what? I'm going to have a little bit of salad. I'll oh, you want to have some salad? Yeah. Excuse me, girl. I didn't know. Wow. Before you have salad, though, we do have some new members that oh, we should probably we? drink to. We have... Mud Tor, mm -hmm. uh, we have Samsara Sigma, mm -hmm. and we have Oksana Schreeder. What a terrible high pitch sound. That was a terrible sound. Let's cheers to them. Thank you for all of our new members. Stop making a mess there and dropping spinach on the ground. Mm, cheers. Cheers to you. Mm. Mm. Which me, one of the salads did you have? I didn't have any yet because I want to show you guys. Oh, you want to show them? Yeah. All right, let me... Is oh, there you... any uh, super chats that we should be answering some yes. questions to? I'm going to answer Cat B. Thank you so much for super chatting. He says, love you both. Just want to say hi. And this year's gotten a lot better since my nephew had a successful heart transplant <gasps> and is recovering wonderful. well. That is just amazing that people can have heart transplants and keep on living. That's... A huge advancement in society. I know that this has been around for a while, but just the fact that we could do that is amazing. I'm very happy. I was really happy to hear that. Hmm. Anyone else we can chat to? I also want to say uh, thank you to Jane Rouse, who says, I love you guys so much. I wish my ducky was at home with me, but he is at work. We usually watch you all together. Ah. I'm glad that people can watch us together. I can't imagine people watching us together, but I'm glad that you do. We can't imagine people watching us at all. At all. I don't think you guys the understand the appreciation we have towards you. We are always constantly in shock when we meet people that mm. watch our videos or that like us or that chat with us. We're always like, really? You know what this We're feels so like strange. to me? Did I ever tell you about the, the, the Burger King analogy that I have? No, I but I will eat the salad eat while the salad. you do you. The Burger King analogy for me is like, I feel like I'm working at Burger King and I, I made someone a Whopper, and then afterwards they came up to me and you're like, I just want to let you know that I love the Whopper. I'm like, yeah, all right, cool. And then someone else comes up, he's like, hey, I want to let you know, you make a great Whopper. I'm like, I don't know, homie, it's just a Whopper. And then you have lots of people telling me that they like my Whopper, to the point that they even like are super chatting, and like we're going to other countries in the world to say hi to people that like a Whopper. So like, I can't believe that anybody likes this, what I'm doing. I don't think I'm that great at anything, mm -hmm. but thank you all for letting me live this wonderful fantasy. <laughs> we might be in the Matrix, but we'll find out. Sky Lone wants to know, where is the memers? Oh, meow, 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 meow. Oh, oh. sweet boy. How do you feel? You oh my sleeping. gosh, you're so warm. Give him what? kisses. Mm -hmm. mm. Here's our cat memers. He's a Scottish fold cat, and I like him a lot. You can answer some. Are you can answer some comments. Hey. Okay. Cybernetic Rose. Cybernetic Rose says, "I have EDS. 
as do I. And I'm scared of taking pen meds, but my pain has been getting worse. Not sure what to do, Martina. You make coping easier, so thank you. Well, if I if I can give you guys a bit of a timeline. Mm, yeah. I didn't start taking pain medication until I was in my late 20s. Uh, it was only the last year of Korea. Yeah. So 30. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Don't tell everybody my old, old age. Yes. All right. Late 20s. Late 20s. Uh, I started taking pain medication. Very late 20s. <laughs> That's so late. <laughs> so late that it's not even 20s anymore. Early 20s. Way expired. Past the 20s. Anyways, probably my 30. I started taking pain medication. Mm -hmm. um, the doctor gave me too high of a dosage. I was mm. on tramadol. Tramadol, yeah. And my stomach lining and other parts started uh, being eaten at by the medication. Mm -hmm. So I started to like have really bad bloody situations and the doctor's like you should go off that but it was my first time to experience pain free Who but mind? also the thing is he didn't just like tell you to like wean off no. of it you were on 300 milligrams and he's like okay stop right now instead of like tapering you you off yeah. bit by bit on christmas uh just before christmas and the withdrawal that you had was very scary. It was like, awful. I was legitimately very scared for mm -hmm. your well-being. And I would love to talk to you guys a bit about withdrawal because I thought that painkiller withdrawal, I pictured somebody lying on the ground being like, I gotta have it. Like these images I saw in movies, like, like I gotta, I gotta have it. I need to have more. I thought withdrawal was um, synonymous with addiction. Like mm -hmm. I would have to be back on it, but that's actually not withdrawal at all. Withdrawal mm -hmm. is that your body is freaking out to suddenly not have the substance mm -hmm. um and what happens is you get like the worst stomach cramps of your life like mm -hmm. if you've ever had food poisoning or you've been sick from something in your stomach and and you're like ah and your stomach's cramping and you have headaches and your body's aching like you have the flu mm -hmm. and you feel like you've been hit by a car and then you have to throw up but there's nothing to happen so you're lying in the toilet yeah. and you're going like huh, but there's nothing i'll get foggy you are super foggy like you can barely room. like finish your sentences yeah. you were so confused it would be like this today we should go grocery shopping in What was I talking about? And I just, I'd have to remind Martina what she yep. was talking about. Like I was losing her yep. to withdrawal and it was a terrible, terrible yeah. time. And I knew that I was not going to go back on it. Mm. Like it wasn't like a, I have to get back no, on it. No, we're like, like, we uh, have to be off of this I forever. was like, I'm getting off of this. But um, I understand how opiates ruin lives. Yes. Like they are just crazy, crazy, crazy things. Yeah. And so mm. actually Spudgy was really there for me at that time. He mm. followed me all over the house. He did, at the time yeah. he wasn't sick. So I was like in the toilet and he'd be lying on the ground with me and he'd mm -hmm. be snuggling with me in bed. Like he knew something was wrong. Yeah. And he wasn't the kind of dog that was like a super comfort dog who's like, what is it, mom? Like Spudgy mm -hmm. was his own little guy, but he was worried. He yeah. was really concerned it about definitely me. definitely was. And that was really when we both knew. But anyhow, I had some really good friends at the time, like Nick and Hugh, yeah. helped me get through it during Christmas. I hosted a Christmas party and I was like... Yeah. Withdrawal and freaking out. On the ground, um, yeah. But I got off of it. And so then when I came to Japan, I said, I don't want to do any more opioid based things. Nope. It does help you with your pain, but it doesn't help in the long run. So yeah. I was like, well, forget that. That's like a patching up of the situation. Mm -hmm. So now I'm on um, basically like a strong version of Advil, but it's mm. a. Celecox? Yeah, Celecox. And I'm on Lyrica, which is for like seizures and um, people who have uh -huh. nerve disorders and stuff like that, yeah. and um, fibro. That kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, and I take stomach medicine to balance all that. And then I have an extra pain medication for up my butt ski. Up the butt. Right, 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 up the butt. Right, up the butt. Because I can't do anything else in my stomach because it, it's too upsetting mm -hmm. for it. Um, but that's for like my emergency days. And I call that my pina colada because it's based in coconut. Yes. And that's my story. And so I think dealing with pain is like this. Mm -hmm. You got. You can't expect that one thing is going to fix it all. Nope. You can't expect that, but you, you can have different like tools, tools that you can use that can help out. Yeah. Pain medicine is one of them. Yeah. Like meditation is another one yep. of them. Hot baths, Hot baths is another one. Massages. Like you yeah. have to figure out what tools are right for the Paint job. Pain patches on one day. Um. Uh. Like you a... can't spam the same mm. answer every single day. Like mm -hmm. every day has different challenges, and you have to face those one by one. Yep. So sorry for that uh, long uh, thing there, but I thought mm. it was something important for us well, to talk about. Well, I think it's time for us to have our dessert now. Yep. So I can't and very get quickly, any spoons. Yeah, sorry, very quickly, I'm just yes. going to say, Stephanie Kim said, I was mm. on Tylenol 3s for back pain, uh -huh. and I took more than realizing it, yeah. and I depended on it, and no one warned me of the withdrawal, and she's been there with me. Yeah. And I'm like, yep, it's you rough. have. Yep, so a lot of people are sharing it. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of people are, yeah, exactly, dropping off some information about that. Mm. But anyhow, um, I brought spoons already. Oh, well, you did bring spoons. Come on. This so, is me we're talking about. The two desserts that we have here, uh, I got myself this 
cafe latte jelly. If you remember, we did a video on coffee jelly. It has little bits of coffee jelly uh, in between. Also has this like little cappuccino cream at the bottom, like chocolate chip whipped cream up top. Ooh, we have the sugar bun as the well. The sugar curry bun. I wonder if it tastes like curry. Hold on, we gotta focus on this so people can see yep. what my gorgeous dessert looks oh, like. Do you want me to do that for you, Ducky? Uh, I can do it right here, see that? Okay. And there you go. Don't spill any of that on the ground. Okay. This is my dessert for today. Let's see the sugar buns. Wow, that's just like a hot dog bun with sugar on yeah, it. Yeah, I think it is literally just. It's literally dog. got nothing else. But in do you it. want to know why I bought it? Why? It reminded me of guavegi. Oh yeah. Guavegi. And what did you get? Do you here? remember what guavegi is? It's these. Um, it's so Korean. We're a little bit out of focus because I'm I waiting to show this here. And this is your milk pudding. I got milk pudding, so pudding. Oh, it's totally overblown. Totally overblown. Yeah, anyhow, see. it's totally white. It's uh -huh. just what? It's white. It's so white. Um, white like the night. Never, never like the light. light. And it's white. White. So white. Uh, I don't anyhow. think many people know that song reference. But um, if you do, please let me know. Mm -hmm. uh, this is basically like pudding. Purin, they always call it. I'm actually considering a Martinez Midnight Munchies on making Purin. Right. But I was trying to think of adjusting the recipe to make mm. a Christmas Purin. Oh. Like, what do you think about, like, a nutmeg cinnamon Purin? So. Oh, okay, I'll let you have the first choice of spoons. Which one do you want? This one. You got the cute one, eh? With the, the face. Squiggly one. I got our regular spoon. And it's time for us to, dessert, to enjoy our Thanksgiving dessert. Thank you, everybody. I'm not sure we're in focus. No? No. Okay, go focus on us. I can see. Hello, everybody. Let me see here. Look up. Huh? Somebody knows it's Electric Six. Kara Rose. Hey, Kara Rose. You have very good taste in music there. Kara Rose. I'm glad. Not a lot of people got that Electric Six. Electric Six, great. Okay, here we go. Okay. Happy go the, Thanksgiving, everyone. Let me go to the bottom of mine. Yeah, mine is just mine pure is like three layers. Milk pure in here. Of, look at that. Mm. So many things in one. Hmm. Mine just tastes like milk. It's literally just delicious, Let me try creamy yours. milk pudding. Might be too plain for you. It might be. See? That's still really, wow, that's so dense. I know. That is really rich. It just tastes like super egg yolks. So this here is the jelly made mm -hmm. out of coffee. And let then me, there's cream. Let me tell you guys. If you're coming to Japan, mm. even mm. if you only eat at supermarkets and then convenience stores, you will still have a tremendous food experience in Japan. It will still be such a great experience mm -hmm. with so many different things. You don't even have to go to a restaurant in order to enjoy everything. But you can go to a restaurant and have new things. But supermarkets really have it all. You know what's a memory I remember? Tell me. We were visiting... A um, memory you remember? Here's a memory I remember. Oh. Remembering a memory remember. Mm -hmm. It's a remember will remember. I remember... When we came to Japan, mm -hmm. visiting from Korea, yeah. and we went to a bakery, mm -hmm. and we bought a spinach and mushroom quiche. And we were so skeptical. And we ate it, and we went, oh my god. And now we know that that was just like a generic bakery. Yeah. It's not even like a fancy bakery, but I think it was, it was like so v, good. V the France that they have. Yeah, or like, yeah, V la France. France. Yeah, France. yeah, yeah, they're everywhere. If you've been in Tokyo, you've probably seen that like in Harajuku Station, they have one. Your mustache is so covered in whipped cream, yo. Oh. It's really cute, but like he's gonna use his um, crotch. Oh man! Yeah, that, that was, was a lot of cream on my face. I know. If Memers' fur was cream, that's how you'd look all the time because okay. you always go. Mm -hmm. Time for our curry sausage buns. Um, guabegi is this twisted fried sugar donut in Korea. Remember when Martina said that there's no bad food here in Japan? I'm a little skeptical about this. I think this might be the one. Okay. That I won't be happy with. Where are my plates? Can you help me lift this up and grab that? Oh, you got plates here? Yeah, you've yeah. You've got a bib on your crotch. Uh huh. I don't have a bib on my crotch. All right. Okay, you bite first because it's sugary. Here we go. We've been watching a lot of Great British Bake Off. Oh, man. And I think this might be like iced buns, mm. but the Japanese version of it. Do you guys like Great British Bake Off? Oh, my God. Not so wrong. This is tremendous, mm. beautiful, fluffy, sweet dough mm. with a nice crust on the outside. Really great crystals of sugar all around. Mm. You don't need anything else. This is tremendous. All Japanese food. Look at me. Look into my eyes. <laughs> Japan. Japan! No, wait, ready? This is Simon. You know what? Look in... Japan makes look great in food. Look my eyes. Japan is a food capital of the world. It is such a challenge to find something bad here. 
Okay, oh. we got some commentary on Great British Bake Off. Mm. First of all, I'm gonna stop all of you talking about the Paul and Mary Berry and how they had to go separate ways because we are not there yet. We are only on season. We're on the season with Benjamin and, and Jane. Celeste. And sorry, Benjamina. 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 Never met a girl with Benjamina, so that was new. And for the me. redhead. And Tom. Tom. Tom, Tom and his Pond. best mate Pod. Yes. I think he runs a YouTube channel in Japan now. Really? Yes. I don't really? know. Or it looks like one of them. Okay, so um, Angela Rini said, I love Great British Bake Off, mm -hmm. but since I'm trying to lose weight, I try not to watch food shows. Mm. True. It's ironic because I'm watching you guys tonight because food shows make me so dang hungry. Mm. I agree with you. So before we watch the Great British Bake Off, we either prepare something in the house that isn't too terrible. Selassie! Yes! People Selassie. know Selassie. He was great. He's he like, didn't give an F. We're not, we're not there yet, so we don't know if he's going to I don't, gone, know if, I don't, I don't know think he's going to win. From but, where we are, it's like, he always looks like he might have just been a bit too relaxed. <laughs> he just comes in like, yeah, whatever. Here's but, my great stuff. But he'll be like, yeah, I didn't really practice this. And yeah. then he'll make some amazing piping work and we're like, he's yeah. such a tricky guy. Yeah, but I loved his cool attitude. And Jane and yeah. Okay. Mm. Mm. But we're learning so many new things about big food. Mm -hmm. And you just ordered a mixer. Mm -hmm. We finally bit the bullet. We're getting a mixer. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be able to make some more stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, this year we're going to make Christmas cookies for our neighborhood. Mm. I want to know how we could share that in the video. I don't know if we can. But we're sure gonna, maybe we can show you guys the Christmas cookies that we make. But we're going to put them in little boxes with mm. ribbons and say thank you for being great. And bring them to our favorite shops. And to our Grammy neighbor. Who mm -hmm. wound up inviting us over mm -hmm. for a tea ceremony. Um, Brianna Slender said, can we have an updated eggnog video? I haven't changed my eggnog, so there was no the eggnog update is, to be updated. We update. keep making it and we keep it's drinking exactly it. Exactly the same way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to say thank you to Bambo Mo for super chatting. He said, "Please tell Taylor, my girlfriend of five years, Kevin's mustache is glorious, and you need to accept it. So long as it's like a little bit wider than anything just outside here, any other width, the, then you're totally fine. So hey." Accept his mustache. What Simon was trying to say is if you have a Hitler mustache, yes. it is not acceptable. Not acceptable. But also, it took me a while to accept Simon's mustache and beer. Mm. And then suddenly, I just loved it. I was like, <clears throat> look at you, you almost, what's it called? Guys with axes. Ah, firemen. Not firemen. Guys with axes that cut down trees. Ah, oh, ninjas. Not ninjas. Ninjas cut down trees. No, they, they set up don't. traps for people. You know what I'm trying to say, guys. And they throw me. axes at each other. What's it called? Vikings. It's not a Viking. The Vikings, when they chop, You're doing this to they make throw fun of things me. at no, people. No, I don't believe you. Lumberjack. <laughs> I was going to try to cover the comments. <laughs> Thank you. Why? I had so many more. I could have done. Carl Cody, Nick Escort, Marina. Uh, Hannah Cassie. You frog, people just can't keep a secret, frog can you? Tom Cola said tree murderers. You can't keep a secret at all. Someone else said Canadians. Lumberjack. Back. Thank you. I'd like to also say hello to Addie. Yes. The daughter of Saf. Thank you for watching, guys. I want to say thank you to Hilda Ehlers Flores. Mm -hmm. uh, Wimberly. <laughs> thank you again for super chatting. I love seeing you in our uh, live streams. This says, hi. Sorry for Blake Wim Wimberly's goofy question about hair. You look awesome, but Martina gets to enjoy it in the most. Midnight Munchies coming soon? I'm trying to think of a, yeah, a Purin Excuse Munchies. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of things that I cook all the time, but not all of them are Japanese, so I'm not sure mm. how many Japanese recipes I should do versus mm. like North American recipes or just recipes that mm. we make. So, and yeah. That's the Indie Kitten of. also says, I love my man's beard. The Indie Kitten, everyone give her a shout out because they're a moderator. They help up with all the spammers that wind up popping in uh, to our videos and be like, hey, come to my website for porn. Thank you, the Indie mm -hmm. Kitten, for blocking all the spammers in there. Mm -hmm. Much appreciated. Yep, it's a lot of uh, thankless job is what that is. So thank you for doing that. Alicia Molinar says, lol, ninjas. Yes, ninjas do cut down trees. Look it up in history. Actually, don't look it up. I might have made that up or not. I'll never tell. <laughs> I think we've been here for over an hour now. Has uh, it already been an hour? Yeah, it's been mm. an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, so I think that I'm starting to feel a little bit slower. So I want to thank everybody for you enjoying this Thanksgiving dinner with us. Mm -hmm. I really liked talking with all of you and trying out new foods. What was your favorite thing you ate today? I'm just like, this is stupid good. What? I know. It's stupid good. Everything here was stupid delicious. What was your favorite though, if you had to pick one? Mm. I like the roast beef on the rice. The roast beef is really good. 
But this is really good. That's also really good. But I'm good. also a plain pastry granny. I like my ginger cookies yeah. and my oatmeal cookies. I don't want no fancy chocolate cake. I mm. want a good pie or a loaf. Mm. So this like plain milk bun with sugar. Diana Chen says, have you watched Crazy Rich Asians? Mm. We just saw it a couple days we ago. We just rented it. We loved it. I think some of the writing was really corny and you could see Singapore tourism really is like, you have to say this about our airports. Wait, yeah. Okay. We've been to Singapore like, we've been to Singapore a couple a times yeah. and we love it. It's great. She arrives in the airport, uh -huh. and when she arrives, she goes, Wow, I can't believe this airport has a butterfly, butterfly and skating rink. No, not something. a skating rink. A butterfly, um, not mm. a museum, but a butterfly yeah. garden yeah. and massage chairs and blah, blah, blah. By the way, that adds nothing to the value of the script or the storyline whatsoever. It's definitely just Singapore tourism being like, Hey, make sure you shout out our stuff. No, the reason why it is that mm -hmm. is because... You don't see that until you depart the airport. Yeah. So when you arrive in Singapore, yeah. you just literally arrive and you're like, I'm in Singapore. Like, but when you depart yeah. is where you see the butterfly When you gardens. land in the airport as she did, and then you get your luggage and you leave those front doors, which is where they saw their friends, how would she have known about that? How would she have talked about that? It's BS. I smelt it from a mile away. Yeah. But... I did love to see Singapore. Yep. I did love to see like a different culture outside of just like the regular stuff you see yep. in movies. Like the I don't want to see center. any more small town America high school issues whatsoever. Like I've seen that way too many times. I know they're released to a lot of people, but I'm looking for something different. So Singapore well, I think what's interesting great. is that you're looking for something different because <clears throat> we no longer are being represented by North American movies. Yeah. So if we had stayed in North America, those movies would really represent us. Yeah. And movies that were about Asia would be strange and interesting. Right. Right? But because we've been in Asia for over a decade now, yeah. our life is... Asia. Yeah. So we know Singapore, Japan, and Korea mm -hmm. way better than we know North America. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, we, I, don't, we, don't, we I, I didn't know. know what Froyo was. Like, yeah. people keep talking about frozen yogurt, and I'm like, what are we talking about right, right. now? Like, we weren't around for that. And, or We didn't know who Adriana Grande, Grande was, was because like, we thought it was a Starbucks drink. Yeah, like, there's just a lot of things that we're out of the loop by. Mm -hmm. So that part when they all start messaging each other and everyone in Singapore knows, or going to the hawker centers, or like dressing a certain way or meeting mm -hmm. mothers a certain way. Mm -hmm. We understood all that kind of stuff yeah. because we've experienced that. So I think Point it just is, spoke to us a lot. Crazy Rich Asians, not the best writing, mm -hmm. but still a great movie worth watching, yeah. I think. Not the best writing as in we haven't read the book. We mean yeah. like the script. The, the, the screenplay yeah. was kind of in yeah. many ways. And the boyfriend's kind of shitty in my opinion. <laughs> like really shitty Should've boyfriend. Should have a little bit about your life. But... Yeah. All right. The burr shit. <laughs> How does she not Google his name? Nowadays, if you start dating somebody, you Google right away. Hey, who is this person? And if you Google Nick Young, you will find, like, if this person is super famous, you would have seen right away. How are you so oblivious as a university professor at that young in NYU? You don't know how to Google? Your credentials out the window. You are not marriage material, Missy. You don't know how to Google. That's my story. Hey, let's have our last shot. Here we go. Sorry for my little rant here. It was a, it was a good uh, one. I appreciate it. Because Simon was like, wait a second. How does she not know? How does she not know that he was rich? Mm. How did she not know that he was rich? Mm -hmm. mm. Um, are you over your little rant there? I'm over my little rant. You feel rant. okay? Yes. Um, do we have a chance to say any final um, goodbyes to some people? Let's start saying goodbye to people. Let's say goodbye to some people here. Find out where you guys are from and goodbye everything. Goodbye to Elzbieta Shaliga. Sh I'm going to say goodbye to Helios Master from Europe, mm -hmm. which is David and Cleopatra. I'm going to say goodbye to Jasmine Moore, who says, Simon, you make a good point. I've got many more good points about the movie. Don't even get me started. <laughs> there are many things that I could say. I'm going to say goodbye to Michelle Selwa. I'm going to say goodbye to Karina W. Um, Kawaii Demon said, I know she should have Googled. I'm going to say goodbye to Bobby Ann. I'm going to say goodbye to Nikita King. I'm going to say goodbye to Evelyn every day. Goodbye to Lone Lady Wolf from Kyoto. Goodbye to Jackie Smiles. Uh, goodbye to Monica Lucas uh, from California. Goodbye to Leah who says, you missed my super chat. I'm sorry we couldn't read everybody's super chat on air, but we will read them as soon as we're done and we're yeah, closing we this. Yeah, we read them afterwards. Yes. yes. Uh, goodbye to Minnie. Wait, wait. Wait. Minnie. Nemesine. Ne nemesis. Nemesis. From Germany. Goodbye to you and goodbye to everyone else. Thank you for hanging out with us on our little mini Thanksgiving with my broken ankle and these amazing Japanese 
supermarket foods. Goodbye Maine, goodbye to Estonia, goodbye to California, goodbye to Shane and Lisa from Hawaii, goodbye to Annabella from Pickering, Ontario, goodbye Pickering! from Pickering from Portland, goodbye to Monica from California, and that boy from Chicago. Goodbye everyone. Goodbye everybody. We'll see you hopefully with a video next week if I could finally start walking. And we'll send out some tweets to let you know what's happening. Girl, you already had two of those buns, you uh -oh. ain't allowed anymore. You ain't allowed anymore. Uh -oh. Girl, you put that down. Uh -oh. You put that down, girl. Uh -oh. You can't have any more uh -oh. of that. That's totally... Uh -oh. Get your tongue off of it. Uh -oh.